to Jujube Islands and uh, we are still uh, deep inside the uh, first castle that we've been into and today we are going to tackle the co-op dungeon. I've dumped all my stuff back in the chest, I pulled it out beforehand um, but uh, I've come back here, I went and got the books and put them in the chest so I could loot them again if I needed now I think it was the yeah the Lord of Jujube was the one um, so what I read here um, was that we needed 14 blocks I thought I was going for 16 um, we've got our emerald block from this one uh, which is used to complete the monument However, the monument is sealed and can only be opened by completing the co-op dungeon challenges of each castle. Uh, only after obtaining all the 15 keys from the dungeons will be uh, will the monument be revealed. So if we want to get to the end, we have to beat these dungeons. And if I remember correctly in here, um, where is it? Uh, Du, 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 in the chests um, I'm sure there was something maybe it was on a wall somewhere um, oh here play on easy or harder until you reach the co-op dungeons uh, which should be played on peaceful so it's just the co-op dungeon parts that should be peaceful um, and uh, I think there was something somewhere saying that I may need to use um, I think it might have been even on the website that I may need to spawn in redstone torches to be able to complete these as they are designed for co-op. Uh, but this is uh, mono-op, I guess, um, which is kind of fun to say. Um, so we got to put this onto peaceful before we go in here. Um, options, peaceful, done. So that's um, where we went wrong with some of the rooms in this castle, uh, but we're doing all right now. Um, I guess we're going to need some boots. Um, actually, we can take all of them just in case. Uh, mm. Hmm. Is it just a, a boat maze? Is that what this is? I'm not entirely sure. Well, look, there's blocks up there. Um, this is, oh, this little thing here. Can we go back this way? Oh, oh that happened. I suppose it's just really a quicker way of walking around. Um, we well can sleep. Excellent. Because uh, that was one of the other problems that we had um, previously was that uh, we had not uh, been able to sleep. Um, because it was, of course, daytime and such. Um, Guessing I just need to get up here. I'm kind of wondering if the boats are just meant to be something or if they're just really like, you know, an easier way to get through the water rather than walking. <coughs> so I can get up here, no worries. The door is unfortunately locked. Uh, so maybe there's something that needs to be done. Um... Maybe that is why there are boats. Um, but uh, let's have a let's have a quick run round. Maybe we'll take a boat with us. Here we go. Let's get a bit more of a sail. Get around that. Oh look, there's something over there. Uh, well, I smashed that one too, but it was a bit quicker to get over here. Um, okay, what have we got? Player one, 
for player two. Um, player two has a bunch of chests. Player one has none. I'm going to go with player two. Be um, a bit of hide and seek going on here. Uh, I'm guessing so we can find enough letter to complete something. This is a lot of chests, it seems a little, um, a little obscene, but I guess it's going to Maybe there's dangers in the other room normally. Um, that would make this a little more frantic. And I have missed the purpose on account of uh, picking player two in this instance. But I don't see any dangers, I just see a, a long walkway. Um, Nothing up there. I don't see that. It's point. Um, what we got here? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is all about. Um, obviously, making making of the water is. I wonder if it's like. Hmm, was there did there used to be like a thing where you could put a boat in there and teleport to it? Maybe not anymore. Um, See what it really looks like is I meant to get the ladders over to the person in the next room. But I'm unsure why or what's the significance of this. I'm gonna go through. That's a little bit cheaty. Um So can't reach that otherwise. They haven't given me anything that would allow me to. Um, it looks like the other person has a parkour to do. Um, go up. Yeah, and see, without the ladders that I, oh, look, and then we throw the ladders through here. So I think I'll, um, I'll achieve both player one and player two's roles in this instance. Uh, that way I can have the full experience. Okay, so let's, um, okay. <laughs> oh, 
slime balls, fantastic. Oh, so that's another slime ball mechanism um, back over there. So what I meant to do is uh, throw slime balls down very much like we did on that island at the beginning. That was really clever to oh, have that um, game mechanism and then explain, well, explained and then um, and then actually use it again throughout the rest of the map. This one, more slime balls. Okay. Just in case I didn't get it right the first time. So I don't think that water's going to have frozen, which is um, a little bit stink. So I might have to just go and you know, half it down the hole or something. Um, I guess uh, I guess I learned my lesson not to not to break everything I see. Um, If I hadn't blown it, I could have done this much easier. Um, but I did break it. My bad. Gosh, I'm standing right next to it. I can't even get it in. And that one we can do legit. Can we? No, now they're all going to stick together. Oh my god. Yep, they're just clumping together now, that's terrible. And then, yeah, so... Activating those opens up the doors and very clever, very nice. Uh, so let's um, get on back along here. Oh, this looks like it comes back up into the water room. And then we have the chest. Oh, yeah, one for each. Okay. Um, all boats, a redstone torch, um, which I don't understand what the purpose is. Oh, I wonder if um, the reason they're saying spawn in the redstone torches, I'm pretty sure it was on the website, was um, because you can't complete the co-op dungeons, you need to just spawn in the keys and the redstone torches are used to open the final monument they're the keys um because i haven't seen any redstone in any of the uh any of the areas we've been to um so yeah but i mean by restricting its access you essentially can use it for what you want um and if we're only after 14 of these and 9 of these, then we're actually, we're good to go. Um, we have achieved everything we need for, um, for the final uh, monument. Just need to get all the emerald blocks. And of course the, um, the redstone torches, we'll leave those here. We'll try and do the um, try and do all the co-ops one player just to get a feel for them, see what they're all about. Um, I'm gonna go through the arduous task of re-equipping now. Um, there, uh, okay. Don't need that. Um, can leave that in there and that in there. Grab our torches and. We should definitely put the books back. 
Um, and get our armor on. Oh, arrows. Um, because those are not useful without them. Um, there we go. Probably should have something, at least a couple blocks to build with in case we need it. Now that I think about it. Okay, so we've got uh, our first emerald block. We've got our first redstone torch key. And we need to get back to... Uh, we'll just do it on easy. Back to game. I don't know what we started on, but... Uh, this should this should help us speed through the rest. So um, here we're going to have a look at the uh, at the next castle. Um, come back through the store once you've completed the first stage monument. Okay. So they have beds in here. They do. Let's let's make it day real quick. Um, so ignore the little status there showing that I dropped uh, over to uh, adventure mode or rather creative mode um, what you may also notice is that uh, I'm now running um, the items thing and uh, the mini map uh, so really helping out there with um, you yeah, know just making it a bit easier to see what's going on um, Damn, that's not safe. And I got a bow too, and I didn't even bother. Um, so let's go back to the the circle. Um, oh, up a bit higher. Still can't figure out where those um, zombie noises are coming from. I mean, obviously somewhere. So it looks like we're all clear around here. Um, I think we're going to carry on going around this way. Um, just for the sake of it. Um, we've got plenty of pork, so we don't really need to kill any more piggies. Um... What's going on here? Is this a bit of a chunk load issue? Looks like it looks like we've had a chunk load issue. Um, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, we might have to go the other way then. Um, that's a bit rubbish. Uh, we could always climb our way around the outside there I guess um, probably not the intended that was a moonwalking pig oh yeah you bad yeah I could get more pork off these guys oh my god and I need to eat some as well okay so let's um, let's nip back around this way and uh, we'll just catch this country over there and, uh, and avoid that chunk load issue. Oh my gosh, that's so tricky. Oh my god, I just, I just had a heart attack. That was terrible. That's so, so bad of them. Literally just kicking my pants. Um, I thought for sure I was about to lose everything again. It must be the yeah. So it must be the path off to the um, to the multiplayer, the co-op dungeon. Right, so we got to get up and over this. So um. Yeah, well, we'll at least get to the next castle, have a peek in the door. Um, I might actually have to build my way up a bit if they don't allow me to get. Oh, it looks like they do. 
I'm going to try and get a bit of height so that um, I can I can sort of, you know, just flank around and get to where I need to be. Watch out for um, hidden pits and traps, just on account of I don't think I'm really meant to be around here. Um, but, uh, you know, if the chunks aren't going to load then I will do what has to be done. Okay, so we have a rather large blue castle um, mount and hopefully we a way around up here. Yes, we look to be in luck. Yep, we can even get a couple eggs along the way. Oh, but the whole front of it's a chunk load of shoe. Look at those creepers down there. Dirty things. Okay, um... Well, that's, um... Less than advantageous. I can't go out there. I, there's not much I can do. I'm going to have to try and, like, reload this and get it to work. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's that's a bit shocking. Um, okay, let me try. Uh, we'll try a quick fix. Um, I can still hear the lava. Um, there we go. We should have just done that in the first place. Uh, right, right. So uh, we want a sword. Sure. Got monsters all around. Um, first area is already open. Uh, complete the challenge and tower last. Get the lever from the uh, get the lever from the chest. You must complete this. Okay, so this is where I come last. Uh, this must be the first area, um, what is the, is there, that's sort of a bit random, um, I think some stuff got a little broken, um, promise it wasn't me, this is my first time here, it was like that when I got here, I hope the dungeon underneath isn't, um, broken as well. Oh, that's another sign. Um, torch required. Torches required. Um, so I've got some torches already. Um, oh, we could take some steak. Boop, 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 boop. Um, we're probably miles away from, um, from being able to see our spawn. So... Do, 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 do. Let's um, bread this. Okay. Um, maybe it's just a little bit broken. That's all. So a lovely little book area. And, uh, yeah. So, Oh no, I don't see that's a parkour. Oh. You're allowed to jump on glowstone, so let's have a look in here. Um. Oh my god. <sighs> right, okay guys, we're not going to try this now. This is uh, already turning into quite a long episode. We are going to... Um, we're going to rest up for sure, so we set our spawn here, and um, when we come back we will have a go at this ridiculous parkour. Um, there's our co-op dungeon, so I guess we have to do the other bits first, um, but you're yeah, definitely going to stash some items and then um, have at that first tower. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Laters.